Communities severely impacted by COVID-19 now will receive federal funding to help fight the spread. Five News reporter Juliana Clipson joining us live now with more on how the Arkansas Legislative Committee actually took action today to aid the Marshallese and Latinx communities in Northwest Arkansas. Juliana. Darren, $7 million in funding was approved by the council today, and leaders here in Northwest Arkansas say that money is crucial to help slow the spread in some of the hardest hit communities. This was quick action on their part. Uh, I'm glad they passed that out today and want to express my appreciation to them. The vote to approve $7 million in federal funding to target the COVID-19 outbreak in Northwest Arkansas's minority communities received the governor's stamp of approval. The proposal utilizes bilingual health care providers to be case managers and contact tracers, and it enhances testing and outreach. All resources Springdale State House Representative Megan Godfrey says are severely needed in her district. It's a very targeted and approach that intends to focus on the unique cultural and language needs of these two particular communities that have been impacted so greatly. The vote today came after members of the council refused to hear a request to approve the funds last Friday. Daisy Bonilla is a social worker in Northwest Arkansas. She's worked closely with the most impacted communities. She says this funding is something the CDC strongly suggested during their time assessing the outbreak in this area. We know that you know we have higher death rates, we have higher infection rates, and so I think it's good that we provide more funding for contract tracing testing because we can help these communities and not only helps them, it helps us as a whole as well. So I think it's a good step for all of us. The $7 million comes from the Federal CARES Act COVID-19 Relief Fund. Live in Springdale, Cover News Where You Live, Julian Eclipson, 5 News.